Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased Rune Cheberek. And um, like I said, it is currently unreleased. So not currently released in GTA Online. This is on PC. This is by using a trainer menu and spawning all these fucking wonderful cars which are currently unreleased in the game into story mode. So like I said, we are going to be customizing and reviewing this bad boy today. It is based on a ladder. <laughs> which is um yeah looks like a shoebox on wheels so this is going to be interesting we're going to get this into ls customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so as you pull into ls customs you'll see the rune cheberek is in the sports classic category and as always guys we're going to start this build with 100 percent body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for that front bumper we are going to get cardboard <laughs> we are not hmm, do we want to go cardboard we can go fucking crazy with this build by the looks of it we've got a shit ton of options for the for the front bumper and uh some pretty cool options as well to be fair considering this car is uh it looks like a piece of shit as stock we can have some really cool options so by the looks of it, we get we do get a cardboard body kit uh even though that is quite different and a bit out there i'm not i don't think we're going to go with it um maybe possibly do a separate video on building the chebrek with a cardboard fucking um body kit but for this one i think i'm gonna try and make it as best as i can probably make it look so in that case and we're gonna make it look like a bit of a tuner as well so we are gonna go with uh that i actually like that that looks pretty cool yeah we're gonna go with the tuner bumper for the rear bumper we are gonna go with oh we don't have a tuner rear bumper. That's a bit unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. We do get a cardboard rear bumper though. <laughs> so I think in that case, I was hoping that was going to be black then, but it's not as chrome because then it would have matched the front one. So what we are going to do, we're just going to mo remove the rear bumper. For the engine, we are going to get the level four engine upgrades. For the headlights, we have a half cover or a full cover. I'm not sure about that. I think I'm just going to leave the headlights how they are. For the hood, we get um, cardboard vents. Uh, there's no cutout underneath them, so I'm not really sure what that's going to do in, what, in the way of performance. <laughs> uh, we do get a carbon hood, which I'm not really a massive fan of usually, but it doesn't look too bad on this um, Cheberek for, so for some reason. It kind of suits it, weirdly enough. Uh, but anyway, we've got the sports hood, which looks pretty awesome. I like the look of that. We can have a race, which is also pretty nice. So there's some nice options for the hood, but my favorite was this sports hood. So we're gonna go with that. Then we're gonna go to the lights, headlights, and purchase the Xeon headlights. We're gonna skip a neon kit for this build. Then we've got some livery options, which is nice to see. So we get some classic stripes. We get the crimson star, which is obviously very Soviet. <laughs> then we've got the hard bass. Uh, not really sure about that one. The prolapse. Then we've got some like rally liveries on here as well, which look quite cool. Uh, not the sort of thing that I want to go with. I want to try and keep it quite clean and tunery looking. So yeah, we're not going to go with any of that. So you can go with a rusty prolapse as well if you'd like. If you want to go for that rusty look, that actually looks quite cool. Um, but obviously that's not my kind of thing or, or the sort of build that I want to go with. Uh, I don't even think I want any of these liveries to be honest. I think they all are a bit you know not really sure um yeah so i think it looks better with none so i'm gonna stay with none then we've got the mirrors we've got the plastic fender mirrors they look quite cool i suppose but i think they look better where they are so i'm gonna stay stock for the mirrors then we're gonna go to the respray the color it's in at the moment the color it's spawned in is actually quite nice you know i'm not actually too disappointed with the color that it's in at the moment but we are going to change it because this is a build and this is the color that I entered the LS Customs with. So yeah, it's definitely got to be changed. But I'm probably thinking something along the blue lines anyway. Red looks quite cool too, man. We've got a formula red there as well. Look, man, it looks nice, you know? It looks pretty good. So I think even though this car is just so fucking strange looking, like, like I said at the beginning, a shoebox on wheels, I still think you can kind of make it look nice in a way. <laughs> Uh, but you know it is what it is oh that gasoline green looks quite nice that actually suits the car really well 
Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that bad boy. I'm going to go with the metallic gasoline green in the primary colour. And also we're going to go into the secondary colour, metallic, and change it to gasoline green. So then we do get an option for the trim colour also. Is it going to change the seats? It does change the seats as well, which is a nice touch. Uh, so we can have it completely black, which doesn't look all that bad, to be honest. And then we can have frost white. That looks pretty good, pretty good. But I think the... Let's have a look at the rear seat. The black is a little bit too dark, especially on the rear seat. So I'm going to go with graphite for the trim color. So then we're going to move on to the roof. We're going to go... <laughs> fucking cardboard vent again. Holy shit. That is just fucking crazy. Uh, the roof rack actually looks really good on this car. But like I said, I, I kind of want to go with a tuna look. But unless we can get some tuna side skirts, this is just going to be all blown out of the water. So... Uh, Definitely the one go with the luggage ones. They look ridiculous. The louvers ain't too bad. Do you know the louvers actually look all right? Yeah, man, they actually don't look all that bad. So I'm gonna go with the window louvers for the for the roof. Funnily enough, then we've got the side skirts. We've got the car the cardboard skirt, obviously, and then we've got the tuna skirt. That actually looks okay. You know, it don't look too bad at all. So we're gonna go with the tuna skirt. Spoiler. We've got the cardboard spoiler, obviously, standard. What the fuck? Then we've got a tailgate spoiler. And then another couple of lip spoilers. We've got the drag spoiler. That looks quite cool. As cool as it can look on this car, that is. This one actually don't look too bad, the tuna spoiler. I'm actually digging that. Uh, the race spoiler looks, mm, you know, yeah, not a fan of that bad boy. Uh, fuck me. That is crazy. What the hell? Yeah, there's some mega out here sort of spoilers, those two. Shit. Um, yeah, I think my favourites was either the tuna spoiler or this tall tailgate spoiler, which I called the drag spoiler, which, you know, it kind of looks like a drag spoiler to me. Uh, or stock spoiler, whatever. You know, this what you stick on a stock car. And because I've got the rear louvers on there, I don't think this tuna spoiler suits it all that much. So... So I'm going to go with the tall tailgate spoiler because I think it goes better with the window louvers. Then we've got the suspension. We are going to go with the race suspension. Holy shit, that drops that right down to the ground. Look at that. So we're going to go race suspension for that. Transmission, we're going to get race transmission and turbo tuning. For the wheels, we're going to go wheel type. And the wheels we've got actually stock actually look really good. So what we are going to do... We're going to go tuna, actually. We are going to change them up. We're going to go tuna. Um, black. Does black look all right, do you reckon? I think black looks okay. Black doesn't look too bad. Um, oh, but I don't really like it. That's really annoying in story mode. You can't get chrome wheels unless I go into my trainer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly get the light smoke window tint to finish the build off. We're going to get outside. Then I'm going to go into um, my menus trainer. I'm going to go into the wheels, so let's get into there right now, we're going to go into the vehicle options, go to the menus customs, we're going to go, oh, we'll go Benny's lowrider mods, can we do that? No, we can't, we can go wheels though, can we get, ben I think we can get Benny's, yeah, we can get Benny's wheels on here, look, so we go originals, front and rear, here we go, sweet as a nut, there we go, so yeah, we can get Benny's wheels on this, which is a bonus, obviously you can't do that in, uh, online or with LS Customs usually but if you've got the trainer mod you can change these and again we can go into the sport wheels I think we can choose yeah I can choose chrome as well which is sweet as well so yeah I can get chrome wheels in story mode whilst using this trainer menu which is awesome so what I am going to do I'm going to go into about some bespoke ones let's try some of these see what these look like they look a bit crazy they do look a bit crazy I don't think I'm going to go... Oh, I don't know. Actually, they look quite nice. They don't look too bad. They actually suit this car quite nicely. What about these ones in chrome? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's have some of them, bad boys. They look cool, man. The chrome razor style. Let's have some of them. So then once I've done that, I can then come out of this menu, go into the V-Stancer, go into tyres. No, we don't want to make that. We want to... We go into yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna do the camber we're gonna give it some camber 
And as you can see, it does have a little bit of camber to it already. So we're just going to do that a little bit more. Push the wheels out of touch like that. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. That looks fucking sweet. So for the rear camber, we are going to do... We got it for the top. Uh, yeah, that looks about looks about right. And then the rear width, we're gonna go with that. Love it, <laughs> fucking love it. So we've got the rear height as well, so we can drop that down. Oh crap, we are gonna drop that right down. Look at that, fuck me. Let's get that right down to the ground. Like that. So then we're gonna go over the width, bring that in a tiny bit more. Shit. Look at that. How awesome does that look? I know it's a little bit different to what you can do in, in um you know in online, but you get the drift. I mean obviously you can't drop it down like this, but everything else you can do <laughs> other than V stancing it and um and changing the wheels to Benny's wheels. But overall I've got a dead guy there, what the fuck? Just a random dead guy. But yeah, overall, guys, I'm I'm actually um, quite impressed with this um, Tiberac. It's it's different. I'll be interested to see how the um, how that cardboard body kit actually looks as well. It'll be interesting to do. But um, overall, I think this car is actually quite a nice addition to the game. Um, the customizations are second to none. I mean, you can get a shit ton of customizations on it, which is what you want with a car like this. Because otherwise, what is the point in in buying it? You know, and um, I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with it. Then rear louvers actually look really nice as well. Um, I was a bit worried that I was a bit too low with this rear bit, but I'm not. That actually sits there quite nicely. The exhaust is just above the, the road. <laughs> she works out really nicely, man. Now, um, it sounds really nice. It sounds like I didn't think it was going to sound. It actually sounds like a sports car. And it is actually not too not too slow either which is which is cool you know that's not overly fast i mean i'm hitting 90 miles an hour 100 miles an hour that is fucking hell so it is quite quick and this, and i haven't put any torque mods or anything like that on it this is exactly how it is you know what just with um ls customs engine mods and all that sort of stuff you know engine upgrades and turbos and all that sort of stuff this is how quick it is so you're hitting about 100 miles an hour in this which is awesome um and i think if i whacked up the fucking torque on this in the menus trainer that it, it's going to be ridiculous and i could probably hit i don't know easy 150 out of it but i'm not going to do that because this is going to be this is a review on the chevrolet on how it is and how it will perform in um, gta online when it is released and um yeah i'm overly impressed with it man it is actually like i said quite quick it handles okay it, it's actually really really fucking solid in the corners it doesn't want to slide out it's got awesome traction and it moves with ease. It's got brilliant freedom of movement. It doesn't feel restricted in any way. It, you know, you can wrap it around a corner like that with ease. And uh, the speed's pretty good. The acceleration is a little bit slower than you'd want it to be. But look at the sort of car it is, man. You can't expect anything other than what we've got with this vehicle. So yeah, like I said, overly impressed with the currently unreleased Chevrolet. <laughs> and it's... Um, it's just different, isn't it? We don't have anything like this in the game. And, uh, yeah, it's just a nice addition to GTA. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this review and build on the currently unreleased Chevrolet. If you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.